Now that we have the image, the brightness we want, we have the subjects centered and, and uh, laid out on the page the way we want it, the only thing that's left to do is to draw that image. And that's pretty easy. I mean, I, I, I could try to put my phone through the view hole and have you watch me draw the thing, but I think that's gonna make you more sick than it's worth. So just look through here and you see the image and just take your hand down here and just, just, just draw right over the image. The only thing you really need to re realize and remember and a few tips I can give you is as you draw, just mark a couple of key places. Like I'm, I'm gonna mark the top of his head here. I'm gonna mark this little ball knee right there. Mark a couple of places because this is a virtual image. So if I move my head from side to side or something gets bumped or moved, the subject moves relative to the paper. And so if you have a couple of marks there that you can, you can use as reference, as you draw, as I draw around the rest of the image, I can look back at those marks to make sure I'm still lined up with the image. And at any time you can take a break, relax, stretch, go eat, go eat lunch, whatever, come back, line up those marks and just keep drawing. So you just draw around the image until you have a good sketch of your subject. Mark all the, the lines and all the, all, the, all the placement, everything that you want for your, for your drawing, your painting. Um, don't, do not attempt to do the whole piece of work looking through the Lucy. This is for the initial sketch, the initial underpainting only. You don't want to try to do detailed shading or, or painting looking through the Lucy because that transposed image over your subject is actually going to mess up your tones and your colors. Just once you get it to the point where you have everything marked out, you have your sketch, set the Lucy aside and finish the drawing without the Lucy. The, um, you know, you can mark where the shadows are, where the highlights are, but don't attempt to do the shading looking through the Lucy. Now the Lucy has an interesting effect where it, because it, it, it translates the three dimensional to the, to the two dimensional. If you're trying to learn how to draw by just copying a photograph, you're taking two dimensional to two dimensional. You never really learned to make that translation because the camera that took the photo made the translation for you and you're just copying it. When you're using the Lucy, it, because it has like a three dimensional hologram, it helps you be able to make, learn how to make that translation yourself. Because so much of learning how to draw is learning to draw what you actually see rather than what you think you should be seeing. So for example, if you're looking at a bowl, so often, You'll t your brain will turn the bowl this way because you know that the top of that bowl is round. Even though when you're looking at it, it's actually quite oval from the angle that you're looking at it. So the Lucy helps you be able to draw it the way it actually is and will help you improve your drawing over time. Now just using the Lucy, just as I showed you here, will, will help improve your drawing over time. If you're interested in a series of exercises developed using the Lucy, to help to teach you how to draw better, um, please click below, either in the description, if you're on YouTube or here on the website, click and, and look at our How to Draw with the Lucy course that will run you through a series of exercises. And it is quite remarkable how much you can see an improvement in just one session. In under an hour, you can go through and you can go from a initial sketch that may not quite be something you're very proud of to something that's that's very impressive for the amount of time you've been you've been working with it and over time you use it longer and it's it's something that can really build skill so besides being a great tool to just help you get that sketch down so you can get to your painting faster or your draw or the you know your drawing faster and speeding up the process it's a very effective way to learn how to draw so if you or someone you know wants to learn how to draw i highly recommend the how to draw learn to draw with the Lucy courses to help run you through those exercises. And it's the fastest and funnest way by far to learn these skills.